Hello everyone! Today, we're gonna talk about actuators and bulbs. Una sa lahat, ano nga ba yung actuator at ano nga ba yung bulb? An actuator is a part of a device or machine that helps it to achieve physical movements by converting energy, often electrical, air, or hydraulic, into mechanical force. Simply put, it is the component in any machine that enables movement. In other words, yung actuator yung nagpo-provide ng action. Pero syempre, kailangan ng pang-control sa kanya. Pwedeng electrical, pwedeng air, pwedeng fluid, ganyan. Uh, kung i-compare yung actuator sa katawan natin, ito yung muscle na nag enable na ma-convert yung energy to some for- form of motion like yung paggalaw ng paa at kamay natin. Yung mga actuators, uh, present yan in almost every machine around us. Mula sa mga simpleng electronic access control systems, yung pag-vibrate ng phone natin, yung mga household appliances, hanggang sa mga vehicles, industrial devices, and robots. So, next naman, ano naman yung valves? Valves are mechanical devices that controls the flow and pressure within a system or process. Ang mga functions niya ay stopping and starting flow, reduce or increase a flow, controlling the direction of flow, regulating a flow or process pressure, and relieve a pipe system of a certain pressure. Uh, nabanggit na ito ni Sir dun sa introduction ng instrumentation and control at ang naihalimbawa dito ay yung mga faucet. So, yung mga faucet natin sa bahay, di ba ginagamit siya para ma-start or ma-stop yung pag-flow ng tubig at magagamit din siya para lakasan or hinaan yung flow ng tubig. So, kapag itong mga valve na to ay kinabitan ng actuator, ang magiging tawag na sa kanya ay actuator valves. So, merong iba't ibang klase ng actuator valves. It, ito ay manual actuator valve, pneumatic actuator valve, electric actuator valve, hydraulic actuator valve, spring actuator valve, solenoid actuated valves, at self-actuated valves. Una ay yung manual actuator valve. Manual valve actuators do not require an outside power source to move a valve to a desired position. So, from the term manual itself, hindi siya nangangailangan ng air, hindi siya nangangailangan ng water, hindi siya nangangailangan ng uh, electricity para mapagalaw siya. Mano-mano mo siyang gagalawin. Ayan. Next naman is pneumatic actuator valve. Pneumatic valve actuators adjust valve position by converting air pressure into linear or rotary motion. Kung yung kanina, mano-mano, hindi niya kailangan ng kahit anong uh, air, electricity, or water. Ito naman, um, from the term pneumatic, ang ginagamit naman niya, air pressure. Yan, air pressure. Next naman is electric actuator valve. An electric actuator is a mechanical device used to convert electricity into kinetic energy in either a single linear or rotary motion. So, yung, kung yung kanina, air pressure, ito naman, electricity, yung ginagamit para mapagalaw siya. Next naman is yung hydraulic actuator valve. Hydro- hydraulic valve actuators convert fluid pressure into motion in response to a signal. So, kung yung manual, mano-mano, kung yung pneumatic air pressure, yung electric electricity, itong hydraulic naman, ang ginagamit niya ay fluid pressure. Okay. Next naman ay yung spring actuator valve. Spring actuators valve, you hold back a spring. Itong spring actuator valve, um, pwede lang siya ma-operate once without resetting and so are used for once use purposes such as emergencies. Um, once na meron siyang madetect na anomalya or nawalan ng power, yung spring marirelease siya tapos mag operate yung valve. Ang advantage nitong spring actuator valve ay hindi siya nagre-require ng powerful electric supply to move the valve. So, they can operate from restricted battery power or kahit wala na talaga yung power, pwede pa din, kaya niyang mag-operate. 
Next naman is yung solenoid actuated valve. Solenoid valves are typically used for automatic control of the hydraulic fluid to direct either opening or closing of the valve. Um, itong solenoid, solenoid is the generic term for a coil of wire used as electromagnet. So, itong mga solenoid actuators, meron silang magnetic slug na naka-attach dun sa valve stem. The force to move the valve comes from the magnetic attraction that is developed between the slug on the valve stem and the coil of electromagnet in the valve actuator. Yan. Next naman is yung self-actuated valves. Self-actuated pressure control valve can be used to control the pressure at either upstream or, upstream or downstream of the control valve. Itong mga self-actuated valves, um, self-actuating sila. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila nagre-require ng additional auxiliary energy para mag-work. Itong mga self-actuating pressure control valves, ang pinaka-uncomplicated at ang pinaka-cheap na controllers available. Ang main advantage nila ay, ayun nga, again, hindi nila kailangan ng additional auxiliary energy para mapagalaw yung actuator. Thus, boosting the realization of simple pressure control systems at relatively low cost. Yan. Next naman ay yung classifications ng valve, ng mga actuator, actuators, kapag pinag-compare kung ano naman yung nagtitrigger sa kanya. Again, pwedeng manual yun, pwedeng electric, pwedeng hydraulic, pwedeng um, pneumatic, ganyan. So, diagram actuators. Pneumatically operated diagram Actuators use air supply from controller, positioner, positioner, and other source. So, itong mga diagram actuators, um, pneumatically operated sila. So, ang ginagamit para matrigger sila ay air pressure. Meron tong various styles, which is direct acting and reverse acting. Pag direct acting, um, kapag nag-increase yung air pressure, pinupush niya pababa yung diaphragm and extends actuator stem. Kapag reverse acting naman, kapag nag-increase yung air pressure, pinupush niya pataas yung diaphragm and retracts actuator stem. Next naman is yung piston actuators. Uh, tulad ng diagram actuators, itong mga piston actuators naman ay pneumatically operated din. Ibig sabihin, air pressure din yung ginagamit para matrigger sila. Um, Itong mga piston actuators, nagpo-provide sila ng maximum thrust output and fast stroke speeds. Um, these are double acting to give maximum force in both directions or spring return to provide failed opening or closing operations. Yan. Itong mga piston actuators, um, nagpo-provide sila ng fast stroke speed so mabilis yung galaw nila. Next naman is yung electrohydraulic actuators. Electrohydraulic actuators only require electrical power for the motor and the electrical input signal from the controller. So, itong mga electrohydraulic actuators, ideal sila para sa mga location kung saan hindi available ang air pressure. So, instead na air pressure, ang gagamitin, electrohydraulic actuators. Yan. Next naman ay... Manual actuators. Again, yung manual actuator, actuators, hindi siya nangangailangan ng air, ng water, ng fluid, ganyan, or ng electricity para matrigger, matrigger siya. Manual siya. So, itong mga manual actuators, useful sila kapag hindi kailangan ng automatic control. But where ease of operation and good manual control is still necessary. Ayan. Next naman ay rack and pinion actuators. Rack and pinion designs provide a compact and economical solution for rotary shaft valves. So, uh, ano nga ba yung rack and pinion? Yung rack and pinion uh, is a type of linear actuator that comprises a circular gear engaging a linear gear, which operate to translate rotational motion into Linear motion. Ayan. Next naman is yung electric actuator. Uh, 
Uh, traditional electric actuator designs used an electric motor and some form of gear reduction to move the valve. So, itong mga electric actuator, uh, ang ginagamit naman para matrigger sila is electricity. Ayan. Next, Uh, next naman is yung rotary valve actuator. As the name implies, rotary valve actuators produce the rotational motion needed to operate rotary valves such as uh, ball, plug, and butterfly valve. So, itong mga rotary valve actuator, ang motion nila ay um, pabilog, paikot yan ng rotary valve actuator. Next naman is yung linear valve actuator. So, kung merong mga paikot, ito naman, iba siya doon. Kasi ito naman, linear. Ito mga linear actuators um, produce linear motion to operate the valve. Kung yung isa gumagamit ng circular motion para mag-operate yung valve, itong actuator naman na to ay linear motion ang ginagawa para mag-operate yung valve. Next, valve actuator power sources. Uh, both linear and rotary style actuators are available with various power sources mentioned earlier. Pneumatic, hydraulic, and electric. In addition to these, there are also several distinct types of manual operators. So, next naman is yung types of actuators. Anong pinagkaiba nito dun sa types of actuator valves? Itong mga itong mga types of actuators na nakikita nyo dito. Ito yung actuator lang talaga. As in, walang nakakabit na valve. Uh, ang actuator kasi, ang possible movement niya ay pwedeng linear or diretso lang or pwedeng paikot or rotary. Ayan. So, una ay yung electric linear. Electric linear actuators are electrically powered Mechanical linear actuators consisting of motors, linear guides, and drive mechanisms which are used to convert electrical energy into linear displacement through mecha mechanical transmission, electromagnetism, or thermal expansion to provide straight line push or pull. So, again, ito, parang gumagamit siya ng electricity tapos ang motion niya, linear. Yan. Um, electric linear actuators um, used, are used primarily in automation applications when a machine, component, tool, etc. requires a controlled movement to a particular position. Ayan. At kung merong electric linear, meron ding electric rotary. So, electric rotary actuators Actuators are electrically powered mechanical devices consisting of motors and output shaft mechanisms with limited rotary travel which are used to convert electrical energy into rotary motion. Ito naman ay prim primarily used in automation, application, uh, automation applications when a gate, valve, etc. requires controlled movement to a particular rotational position. So, kung yung isa, Uh, powered by, ay, na, ang nakaka-trigger sa kanya, electricity, tapos linear siya, pa straight. Ito naman, electricity din, pero ang movement niya, rotary, so paikot. Next is fluid power linear. Fluid power linear actuators are mechanical devices consisting of cylinder and piston mechanisms that produce linear displacement by means of hydraulic fluid gas or differential air pressure. Uh, Ito mga fluid power linear actuators ay primarily used in automation applications when an item requires a controlled movement to a particular position. Next naman is yung fluid power rotary. So, kung merong linear, meron ding rotary. Yung fluid power rotary actuators are fluid powered mechanical devices consisting of cylinder and piston mechanisms, gearing and output shafts giving limited rotational travel which are used to convert hydraulic fluid, gas or different air pressure into rotational motion. So, ito naman primarily used in 
automation applications when an item requires a controlled rotary movement to a particular position. So, kung yung kanina, um, di ba, electric, may linear, may rotary, yung fluid naman, uh, powered siya by fluid, and meron din siyang linear and rotary. Next naman ay yung linear chain actuators. Linear chain actuators are mechanical devices consisting of sprockets and sections of chain which are used for providing linear via the ends of the specially designed chains. So, ito naman, um, primarily used in motion control applications for providing a straight line, push, or pull motion. Ayan. So, next naman ay yung manual linear. Yung manual linear naman uh, are mechanical devices providing linear displacement through the translation of manually rotated screws or gears and consist of hand-operated knobs or wheels, gearboxes, and guided linear motion mechanisms. Ito naman, uh, ginagamit sila primarily in commercial applications for precise positioning such as manipulating tools or workpiece. Yan. Next is manual rotary. Uh, itong mga manual rotary actuators are mechanical devices providing rotary output through the translation of manually rotated screws, level or gear levers or gears, and are usually composed of hand-operated knobs, levers or hand wheels, and gearboxes or threaded knot mechanisms and output shafts. Uh, ito naman, primarily used for the operation of valves. Next naman ay yung uh, mga motors. Uh, pwede din, ayun, since ba diba yung mga motors, uh, meron ding, merong nagtitrigger sa kanila, tapos gumagalaw sila. So, basically, yung mga motors, actuators sila. So, um, yung tatlong motor sa pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay yung AC, DC motor, stepper motor, at servo motor. So, AC and DC motors. So, AC and DC motors use electrical current to produce rotating magnetic fields that in turn generate rotational mechanical force in the armature located at the rotor or staff. So, ano mong pinagkaiba ng AC at ng DC motor? Yung AC motor ay powered from alternating current or AC. Samantalang yung DC motor naman ay powered ng direct current or DC tulad ng battery. Yan. Next naman ay stepper motor. Stepper motors are DC motors that move in discrete steps. They have multiple coils that are organized in groups called phases. By energizing each phase in sequence, the motor, motor will rotate one step at a time. So, itong stepper motor naman, hindi siya biglang diretso agad. Step by step siya. Yun, step by step. One at a time. Yung, yung base dun sa mga ano, dun sa mga coils or dun sa mga phases, step by step, yan, stepper motor. Next naman ay yung servo motor. So, yung servo motor is an electrical device which can push or rotate an object with great precision. Or rotate an object with great precision. If you want to rotate an, an object at some specific angles or distance then you use servo motor it is just made up of simple motor through servo mechanism ito namang ano itong servo motor uh, ginagamit siya kapag kailangan mo ng specific angle or distance um, kapag ang servo motor ay DC powered, ang tawag sa kanya, DC servo motor. Pag AC powered naman, ang tawag sa kanya, AC servo motor. Um, 
etong mga gantong servo motor um pwede tayo makuha ng very high torque kahit maliit lang siya and madami tong ano madaming pinagagamitan nitong mga servo motors tulad ng mga toy car RC helicopters and planes robotics machine etc so yun that's all for today that's all for our lesson actuators and valves thank you